Eight task force one teams across the country that mobilize as disaster is set to strike. One of them based right here in Ohio. WCPO 90's reporter Jessica Hart shows us how some of our local first responders are getting ready to offer their support for Florida. Ohio Task Force One is headed south to help those who will be impacted by Hurricane Adelia. They left around 440 this morning, sending 47 of its team members. And this seems to be a very fast moving and very fast growing hurricane that's coming in. Ohio Task Force One rolled out in a hurry. Their mission is time sensitive. They have to be in Georgia Tuesday afternoon because Hurricane Adelia is coming and they need to be ready. And the storm surge is always the biggest problem closest to the coast. You know, it can just, you know, it can level structures. This time the team won't be treading in uncharted waters. A couple of the areas where it's coming into, it's like we've been in some of those regions before. Uh, so we, we've got some idea what we're, what kind of environment we're going to face, what some of the issues that are going to be there for us. Among the 47 task members are paramedics, a physician, search hazmat and structure specialist. <laughs> and two canines who will assist with the search. The water recedes, we well, expect to have uh, searches and assist the locals with searching areas. The inland flooding will usually come later. You know, we've had situations where we've been out for several days and then all of a sudden the inland flooding starts. Task Force members say hurricane season has been different this year, but it shows you always have to be prepared. In Vandalia, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News. Blue Ash based Matthew 25 Ministries also ready to respond to the storm. They'll be keeping in close contact with partners in the area trying to figure out what supplies and services may be needed after the storm makes landfall. And we'll have more coverage on Hurricane Adalia for you today throughout WCPO 9 newscast. You can also stream live updates from Florida all day long in the WCPO app.